Hey guys, it's Sonia. Remember the other night how I said I'm sick? Yeah, I'm sick. Um, I started an antibiotic today. So, just a hoping. I feel like crap and I'm refusing to stop. I don't want to not come to work because I don't want to use my paid leave. Because I've got some days I'm taking in November and I want them covered. <coughs> Plus, we're short two techs now. Um, two people have already left for other jobs. So, it would put them in a bind. I don't have a fever. I'm not contagious. It's all sinus and drainage and blah. Um, my doctor... She's fabulous. She uh, called in my antibiotic without making me come see her. She just talked to me on the phone and went over my symptoms. The biggest issue with me is I, it, you, if once it's to this point, it almost always turns into bronchitis. So far, I don't feel that it's bronchitis. Um, I'm already on the antibiotic, so hopefully... Hopefully that won't happen. Oh gosh, you guys got turned. I'm sorry. Yeah, so don't ever worry that I'm not safe when I drive. I don't pay a bit of attention to the screen, do I? Um, okay, so I weighed in. And it was crap, right? <laughs> uh, it was worse when I was at the doctor's office on Friday. That's probably where I got sick. <laughs> um, anyway... So yeah, I had a big 240.2 at the doctor's office on Friday. Granted, that was clothed and after half of the Starbucks and, you know, but flip, no, no. Um, she decided that day that I was making some changes and I've talked about those. I've then since done more research and let her know that we're um, unchanging her changes. I am taking the medication and I do feel better. Um, I still don't feel right, but I'm feeling improved. Um, my body likes more dopamine. Yay for dopamine. <laughs> and, uh, and then I've, you know, taken a couple of the benzodiazepines to help me breathe. <laughs> so, when I showed you my weigh-in yesterday, that was, what, 237.2? So that's down three pounds from Friday, yay. This morning I did hop on because I'm a masochist, but I was down again to 235.8. It doesn't count, though, because I only count my Tuesday weigh-ins. So Fridays doesn't really count either, aside from the fact that it scared, the, scared me. Um, husband and I have had a lot of talks, and uh, I'm no longer going to be as aggressive with the pumping. Um, we will give him what I can get, but it is exhausting me and depleting me uh, with everything that I have going on. So, yep, I'm going to pump three, maybe four times a day, and we'll, we'll supplement the rest. Um, <coughs> I'm also going to start in improving my diet and getting back to the lifestyle changes that I had made prior to my pregnancy. Um, with with supplementing him so much it's not necessary that I have so many carbs because it's not his sole source of nutrition um, the formula will give him plenty of carbs I will still have some carbs I've never been a low low carber um, I just always tried to stay under a hundred carbs in a day so um, So yeah, I'm going to track again. Um, I'm going to start that, I guess, tomorrow. Uh, I can track what I had today. Um, I'm not yet ready to give up my Starbucks. Um, the 
caffeine it is necessary with my schedule right now um, I'm thinking next week I will try to cut back on the Starbucks so far this week I've been every day um, if you drink Starbucks give me some ideas for um, lower calorie choices I'm getting to where I can stand the taste of regular coffee now so maybe I can find some um, somewhat bariatric friendly choices <coughs> Um, with my schedule and my la and my hunger being gone again, thank goodness. Um, I have been known to uh, only drink a Starbucks through the whole day until somebody asks me what I ate, and then I'm like, oh, I hadn't done that yet. But that's okay because the Starbucks I get is 500 some calories. It's also 185 grams of caffeine, and I sip on it. it. It takes me like eight, ten. Sometimes it goes in the fridge at the end of the day, and I start over in the morning. Um, but then there, there have been days this semester I've had three of them. Yeah, not healthy choices. I gotta find a, a healthier choice. Uh, my husband has been making me coffee at home. Um, just trying to find different creamers that I like. Uh, playing around with my Tarani syrups and stuff. <coughs> he, he would like me to quit drinking at Starbucks. Simply for our budget. Um, and I don't blame him there. It is, it's getting ridiculous. So yeah, um, I guess those are the big changes. Is I'm just going to start tracking again. And go from there. I'll see where I'm at. And um, what what that does, I know uh, the one time I tracked since Zach was born, I lost five pounds in one week. So uh, um, I'm just going to start tracking again and ease back into it. If you've seen me from the beginning, you know that's how I started this journey was after I met with my uh, my doctor and my, my nut. She suggested that I just simply track. Don't even worry about it, but track, she said, and when you're writing it down, you'll naturally start cutting back, and then after I had done that for a while, she, you know, gave me guidelines for calories and protein and whatnot, so I'm just going to start tracking. All right, guys, have a good one. Bye.